Hi to all, welcome to my second class on Polynomial Chapter 2nd Class 10. In this class I am going to discuss geometrical meaning of the zeros of a polynomial. In the last class we discussed about the zeros of a polynomial. Let me take a polynomial. P of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Now let me take the value when x is equal to 1. That is P of 1 you can write it as 2 into 1 minus 3. That is 2 minus 3 which is equal to negative 1. Then let me take P of 2, what will you get? That is 2 into 2 minus 3, that is 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. Now, if I take P of 3 by 2, what will you get? Do find yourself. Yes, you get 2 into 3 by 2 minus 3 that is 2 to cancel which is equal to 3 minus 3 you are getting 0 that means the polynomial will become 0 when x is equal to 3 by 2 then 3 by 2 we can call it as the 0 of p of x in class 9 you learn to draw the graph of a linear polynomial. Here it is a linear polynomial. Then how you draw its graph? Let me prepare a table. Here we can take the values of x and let y is equal to the 2s minus 3 the linear polynomial we took. Now when x is equal to 1 we got y is equal to negative 1. And when, when x is equal to 2, you got y is equal to positive 1. Now, let us draw this graph. Here is your graph. You know how to plot the points in a graph. Here, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to negative 1. Where that point will be? Here, you can see x is equal to 1. And y is equal to negative 1. It is below. This point will be x is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative 1. And where x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1, here you take x is equal to y is equal to positive 1, just above its axis. So, this one will be the point x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. So, we can write this point as this point is 1, negative 1 and this point is 2, 1. Now, let me join these two points. You will get the graph of 2x minus 3. So, joining 1, negative 1 and 2, 1. This point line will be the graph of y is equal to 2s minus 3. Or we can say for any linear polynomial, the, its graph will be a straight line. Now can you say in which point this graph of this polynomial intersect with the x-axis? Here you can see in between, in the middle of 1 and 2 it intersects. What is this point? Yes, this is 1.5 and y is equal to 0. That point is 1.5, 0. Or 1.5, we know 1.5, which is equal to 3 by 2. That means 3 by 2 was the 0 of that polynomial. Here you can see the 0 of the polynomial is the x coordinate of the intersecting point of the graph of the polynomial and x-axis. And can you say in how many points it intersect in the x-axis? As yes, here it is only the 
one point. This point is the intersecting point with the y axis. So in x axis, it intersects only at a one point. And you know, for a linear polynomial, only one zero you can find it out. So to find out the zero from the graph, you just look at the intersecting point of the graph and x axis. Then it's x coordinate, that point of intersection. X coordinate of the point of intersection, you can say it is the zeros of the polynomial. So we can write the linear polynomial ax plus b, that is the standard form of the linear polynomial, where n not equal to 0 has exactly one zero, namely the x coordinate of the point where the graph y is equal to ax plus b intersect the x axis. Now, what about a quadratic polynomial? Let me take a quadratic polynomial. Let me take p of x is equal to x square minus 4. It's a quadratic polynomial. Now, let me find out the value p of 1. p of 1 means 1 square minus 4 which is 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 3. Can you find out p of negative 1? Negative 1 also you can write as negative 1 whole square minus 4. That also 1 minus 4 equal to minus 3. Now what about p of 2? That is 2 square minus 4 which is equal to 4 minus 4. You are getting 0. If you are getting 0 as the answer you can say 2 is 1 of the 0 is x minus 4. Now what about p of minus 2 that is negative 2 the whole square minus 4 negative 2 whole square which is equal to positive 4 minus 4 equal to negative. That means p of 2 negative 2 also you are getting 0. That means here you are getting 2 zeros. So we can say the a quadratic polynomial will have 2 zeros. Now, let me draw the graph of x square minus 1. Here is your graph. Now, we have to plot the point 1, negative 3. Where will be this point 1, negative 3? Here. Here. 1 in x axis, negative 3 here. So, this point will be 1, negative 3. Similarly, negative 1, negative 3. So, you take negative 1 on x axis, negative 3, y axis. So, negative 1, negative 3 will be this point. Now, 2, 0. Of course, x is equal to y is equal to 0. It will be on x axis. This will be this point. And what about negative 2, 0? Can you show me where negative 2, 0 is? Yes, it will be here. Now you have to join all these points. You will get the graph of x square minus 4. Let me do it. Here is the graph of x square minus 4. This is just like a u-shaped graph and this graph we can call it as parabola. You know the graph of a linear polynomial is a straight line, whereas the graph of a quadratic polynomial, we can call it as parabola. Now, can you say in how many points this graph intersect the x-axis? Here you can see, here in this point it intersect 1, here also it intersects. That means in two points it intersects. So we can say this polynomial having two zeros. Since the graph of x square minus 4 intersect the x-axis at two points. So the number of zeros for x square minus 4 is 2. And can you see what are the zeros? Yes, of course you can see 
it is it intersected the two so x is equal to 2 is one of the zero and here it intersected the minus 2 so 2 and negative 2 are the zeros of x square minus 4 so we can write the zeros of a quadratic polynomial a x square plus b x plus c a not equal to 0 that is the standard form of a quadratic polynomial are precisely the x coordinate of the points where the parabola representing y is equal to x square plus b x plus c intersect the x axis and you can say number of zeros will be 2. Now let me take another quad quadratic polynomial. Let me take a polynomial x square plus 2x plus 1. Let us draw the graph of x square plus 2x plus 1. Here is the graph of x square plus 2x plus 1. Now you can see here the parabola intersects only at one point that is negative 1. So here for that quadratic polynomial x square plus 2x plus 1 only 1 0 or we can call it as equal zeros. For a quadratic polynomial you know two zeros will be there. So here it intersect only one point so we can call it as it has equal zeros. Now let me take another quadratic polynomial. Here is the graph of a polynomial x square plus 1. Of course it is a parabola. Now what is the speciality of this parabola? You can see it does not intersect the x axis. That means x square plus 1 does not have a 0. So here you could see the quadratic polynomial with the two zeros and equal zeros that is one zero and no zeros. So these are all the possible number of zeros for a quadratic polynomial. So we can conclude a quadratic polynomial can have either two distinct zeros or two equal zeros that means one zero or no zero. This also means that a polynomial of degree 2 has at most 2 zeros. That means it can be less than 2 also, no zeros. What about the zeros of a cubic polynomial? Let me take a cubic polynomial and its graph. Here is a cubic polynomial x cube minus 4x. Now look at its graph. In how many places the graph intersect the x-axis? Here you can see in x is equal to 2, it intersects. Now it intersects at 0 and it intersects at negative 2. That means in 3 places it intersects the x-axis. So this graph, that means x cube minus 4x, the graph of x cube minus 4x intersect at the 3 points in x axis. Therefore, we can say it has 3 zeros. So, a cubic polynomial will have 3 zeros. Now, let me take another cubic polynomial. Here is a graph of the polynomial x cube x cube itself is a cubic polynomial. In how many places the graph intersects the x axis? Here you can see it intersects only at 0. That means this cubic polynomial having only 1 0. So it can be 3 0. Here it is 1 0. Now let me take another cubic polynomial. Here you have the graph of x cube minus x square. This is a cubic polynomial having two terms and you can see in how many places the
the graph of x2 minus x square intersect to the x axis. Here it intersect at 0 and here at 1. That means this polynomial x cube minus x square having only two zeros. So for a cubic polynomial you can see it, it can have three zeros, it can have one zero, it can have two zeros. Now what about a polynomial of degree 5? How many zeros can be there? Of course there can be at most 5 zeros. How many zeros will be there for a polynomial of degree 10? Of course it can be 10 zeros or its graph may intersect the x-axis at 10 points or less than that. So maximum it can be 10 zeros. So in general we can say given polynomial p of x of degree n the graph of y is equal to p of x intersect the x axis at most n points therefore the polynomial p of x of degree n has at most n zeros now let us go to the textbook exercise here you have exercise 2.1 it's a very simple a graph is given graph of some polynomial is given you have to find out the number of zeros here look at the first question here this is the graph of the polynomial is this intersecting x-axis no so what we can say no zeros now what about the second in how many places the graph is intersecting the x-axis here you can see it is intersected at this point that means it intersect at one point therefore you can say number of zero will be one similarly remaining questions you can do yourself and here are the answers do verify yourself that is all for today's class have a nice day